First time out detecting in, I think, three weeks. And we're on a permission that we've done a lot. We weren't expecting much. Came on one field that we haven't done much. The grass is quite short, which is quite nice. And we ended up having an insane day. An amazing early milled silver coin, a beautiful hammered, and some more insane artifacts. This video is unreal. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I haven't uploaded in, I think, was it two, nearly three weeks now? I think it might be three weeks, but I've been super busy recently. I'm very, very sorry. I've literally had no content. I was away skiing for a whole week. That was amazing, and I ended up deleting all my content um, because I filmed some of my skiing videos, so I had nothing to post. But finally, we are back out because we were going to go out last week, but then my dad decided to go fishing for the weekend. Very selfish of him. But finally, we are back out on one of our old permissions, one that we have done it quite a few times, but we've had some amazing finds off here. We've had, I think, one of the best finds. We had a Charles I shilling off here, massive hammered coin. I think we've had probably well over 15 hammered coins off of here, all really nice ones as well. So I'm super excited. Today we're going to be looking for the really small signals because the last time we came on here we were again searching for these really small signals and ended up, ended up finding two more hammered coins from this area that we thought we'd done to death. So we're going to head back over there. I'm really really excited. I haven't been detecting in yeah three weeks. So hopefully it's going to be very good. Hopefully we'll get some hammered coins today and some interesting artifacts because this permission is a very good one. I'll see you on the fields. Nice clean one here. It's an 84-85. It's quite a small signal, but I really am liking it. Haven't had anything too special just yet. I think this is my first kind of decent signal of the day, really. I've dug this a bit weird. Oh, there we go. Oh, still in the hole. Always a good sign. It's improved to an 88 now as well. Even better. And it's right there in the bottom. Sorry if the cars are a bit loud behind. Right next to the, the main road. Right, can we see anything? It's just up here. Oh, is it that? Oh no, it's a coin. Oh my goodness, that just came out of nowhere. Oh, look at that. Oh, we can actually see something on it, this. This one. Yeah, I can just make out a head there. Facing left, that is going to be an old George II half penny. Probably 1740s, 17, 1750s. That side's quite blank, but you can make out his head, which is always nice. Lovely. Got a lovely signal there, everyone. It's a nice 88, super clean. It should be a coin. I'd have thought it would be. First kind of proper signal of the day. I've had a couple others, but we said we were going to go on fields that we have done previously. Um, but we actually decided to come on one that we, we've still done, but not as much as the other ones. We call it the police field, as there's an old house up there that used to be an old police station. Right, it's in there, 88. Hopefully it'll be a, be a coin. It isn't as deep as I thought it was, but it's still a super clean signal. It's just in here. Get my knife in there. Come on. Oh no, what is that? Is that a bit of junk? Oh, I can't get it out. Oh my goodness, it's that. Oh, it's just like a big chunk of alloy. That is very annoying. It's an amazing signal. I cannot believe this. So we're on this field and I walked off a bit to try cover some more area. And I did end up having one coin, but completely blank. And my dad calls me over and he has just had that. Check that out. 
1679 Charles II reference. Very early milled silver. Check the head out. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. We have had lots of old silver off this place. I've also had a Charles II fourpence off here. So now we've got three Charles II silver coins. We've got a twopence, a threepence, and also a fourpence. But that is amazing. You can see 1679. That is beautiful. It's honestly amazing. Such a nice coin. They always come out amazing condition in here. Look at that. That is stunning. I'll give it a bit more of a clean up and I'll get you some photos. That is amazing. Nice clean signal here. It's about 70, 75. It is a little bit scratchy, but I'm still definitely going to dig it because it could easily be a little hammered coin or just it could be a little coin in general. And that silver coin that my dad had was really, really shallow as well, which was quite surprising. It was only about a couple inches deep. So I'm going to start digging lots of shallow things in here. And it's now improved to an 86. So hopefully, I'd have thought it'd be something round, but it might be like a little button or something. It's just there, so it's quite deep. Ugh. Come on. Still here. Right, where is it? Well, it's right there. I thought I saw something. Oh, I think it's that, which I think... Oh, I thought it was going to be a musket ball, but it's definitely not. Oh, now what is that? I think it's just going to be part of an old buckle, by the looks of things. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's a bit weird, really. I'll give it a clean up at home, but I'd say just part of an old belt buckle, probably. It's just because it's quite thick here. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to say part of an old belt buckle. But probably still kind of 18 to maybe really early 1900s. It's a good find. I've got something quite interesting here. I'm not too sure what it is. It looks like a button, but it looks like it has an anchor on it. So I think it's going to be something to do with the navy. It's just down here. Literally, I pulled out the claw and it was sitting there. Just there. I think I can just make out an anchor. It might be something else. But it's just sat on this claw. I think it's going to be a button. Right. Actually, oh, it looks really nice. It might be some like patina on. Thank you. I'm going to get it on the closer camera though, actually, because it looks a bit more interesting than I originally thought. Really interesting. I'm not 100% sure what it is. Oh, it's like a. Oh, I've had one of these before. Look, it's got like a little bit coming out. Oh, it's going to annoy me because I don't remember exactly what it is. But it's something to do with like the army, yeah. Oh, you can see there's like an anchor on there. Oh, typically, I've got no water left. But it's definitely something nice. I remember I found something like this before. It's not a button, but it's like a badge almost. It has this like, thing coming off the side. I've definitely had one before, and it was quite old if I remember. Right, I'll give it a clean up off camera, like in the wet grass, and I'll get some photos and hopefully a positive ID. But that is really interesting it's honestly all ages for this one we've had back to what is it 1679 and kind of 1500s pot legs and then we're getting these nice i'd say kind of late 1800s war memorabilia that is beautiful interesting little find here it was super deep and i saw this silver so i thought it was gonna be a big bit of silver but it's not it is actually a j hudson and co whistle you can see there the date 1943 and birmingham so these guys are whistle makers and they are still in production today which is crazy so from world war ii you can see 1943 there 
and it's just missing the end bit where you would have blown it and then the air would have come out of these like the holes right here but obviously i'll clean it up and show you at the end of the video at home and hopefully it will be nice and shiny be able to see all the date very clearly but right now it's super muddy but that is amazing very cool find it's not always about the coins and even the old artifacts just stuff like that really cool you can just research it and find it straight away that is awesome just had this here from this side looks like a big big bit of junk but i decided to clean off the other side look there's quite a lot of writing on there you can see it says vr with a crown and it says patent or patent on that side and i think it says it again up there there's something else up there but it's all corroded but i've got no idea what that is you can see there's the remnants of some silver gilding there but if anyone knows please leave it in the comments i'm guessing it's some sort of thing to do with a belt buckle or maybe something to do with the army maybe something on their jacket or rifle honestly i have no idea but something to do with that i'm guessing but yeah if anyone knows Please let me know. It's definitely something interesting. I like stuff like that. Got a nice little signal here. It was a 85, I think. Very clean. Just in the bottom of the hole here. I'm really hoping this is going to be a coin. It's very clean. And, oh, well, it's definitely out. And I thought it would be a coin. Oh, is that a thimble? Oh, I think I've just had a thimble. Oh, look at that. Haven't had a thimble in ages. That is lovely. Right, I'll get that on the closer camera. That is awesome. It looks like a nice one as well. That is great. Check that out. It looks like a nice one. Yeah, it's nice. So muddy, it's getting quite hard to clean. But that is beautiful. It's pretty much perfect, apart from there's a little bit come off there. But nice old thimble, I'd probably say know, mid to late 1800s. That is great. That'll clean up lovely. Next little find. This field is proving very good. That is 100% part of an old medieval pot leg. You can just see that's the middle bit and then the side bit and it's just broken just there. But that could easily be kind of 15, 1600s, which is lovely. That is awesome. Shows there's lots of age on here. Hopefully there's some hammered coins. I'm sure there will be. Look at that. Second coin of the day. I say second second coin second coin for myself excluding my dad's lovely silver it's just an old half penny of sorts much like the last one even though i didn't show you super blank but it's probably judging by the shape and the size probably an old georgia second half penny probably yeah mid 1700s there and thereabouts but a coin is a coin and i'll take it any day All right, so I'm a bit confused here. Um, my machine's right there. I was detecting normally, as you do. And my dad starts laughing. And um, he's found something in the clod, but he's covered it back up and he's just not letting me see what it is. So I have no idea what it is. Uh, I think it's going to be a hammer, the way he's acting, but I'm honestly not 100% sure. But it's in here somewhere. I might get it on the closer camera when I see it. I don't know idea what it is. But I bet it's going to be a hammer. Oh, it is a hammered. I can see it. I moved it. Right, all right. Let me get it on the closer camera. I can see it. I can just see a little, a tiny little disc. He's so lucky. Literally three meet, four meters away from me. I can't believe it. It's such a little one as well. I nearly missed it, but oh, I think it looks like it looks like a little Lizzie. So lucky, yeah, I know exactly what this is. These are so common. I don't know how many we've had, 
but it is a Elizabeth the first hot is it wait hold, hold on hold on yeah it is it is an Elizabeth the first half groat with the two pellets behind her head there is only one coin oh it is a nice one as well she only has one coin with the two pellets behind her head and it is this half groat so they are exactly the same and I can't remember exactly what it is but I'll, I'll find it in a second for you I'll clean it up a bit more but that is stunning it's quite a late one in her reign so I think kind of I think it was 1570s 1580s so kind of middle of her reign but oh it's a good condition one as well right hold on I'll, I'll come back to you I'm gonna do a little bit of research get a date and clean it up a bit more that is stunning so I didn't even do any research because I cleaned it off a little bit and look I can see at the top there there is a number two so that stands for 1602 I'm pretty sure it's the second to last year oh no all the last reign um the last reign where she made coins under but she died in 1603 um so yeah second to last year of her reign 1602 so it's a later one but yeah that is stunning Elizabeth I half grown. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's bent into a love token. Look, you can see it's bent like an S and love tokens. So one person would give that to their either wife or husband. I'm pretty sure the husband gave it to their wife. Um, and they bend it like that. And if they broke up their relationship, they throw it in the fields or probably in most cases, they just dropped it in the field like most coins. But that is absolutely stunning. Elizabeth I, half grow, dated 1602. Amazing. Oh my goodness. We came on here this morning thinking it was going to be a hard day. We're going to be struggling for signals. But then we come on the one field that we've hardly done. And we've had early milled silver. We've had a hammered coin. Loads of interesting artifacts. And my dad, he's had a very um, insane day today, just pulled this out. And I saw it, I was like, oh, I don't really know what that is. But look. Oh my goodness. He's only gone and got a fob seal. I've never seen one this design, but you can make out there that it looks like a lion's head. Slightly off center, we've still got the, um, what is it, the glass. And that is crazy. I've never seen one like this design, really straight. I thought obviously they're usually quite round, but that is 100% a fob seal. Probably 17, maybe 1800s. That is absolutely insane. I'm not gonna clean it up here because I wanna be super careful. I'm gonna go home and clean that really gently with a cotton bud, but hopefully that is complete under there, under all that mud, and it'll be a beautiful, it looks like a lion. That is insane. Next little find here. Something a lot bigger than normal. This was super shallow. And it is an old spur. So it would have been on the old boot. The back of the shoe. And then you can see this slit here. There would have been a spur. Like I guess it's, is it a spur? Or it's like the little spiky thing. That you dig into the horse's um, back. To basically make it go faster. Obviously that's a bit of a silly way of saying it but that's, that's what it is which is really cool i'm pretty sure it's going to be kind of 16 1700s which is cool but i'll clean it up at home get it all nice and shiny and get you a proper date range but that is awesome an amazing signal here it's really clean it was a 88 i think on the ultimate program as always just down there Come on, we want to see a nice silver coin pop out. Oh gosh, I can see it. Look, there's a big rim there. And if I'm not mistaken, we have a beautiful bottle top. Welcome to the roundup, everyone. That was um, a very good day. But I was very glad I was proved wrong about that field. When I first walked on there, I wasn't too sure. Because we've done it previously, briefly, for about, I don't know, an hour, every, every now and then. But we've literally never found anything. But 
I'm glad today we stuck at it, did it for the whole day. And we ended up having a really good day. A lot of varied finds and some really cool ones as well. I'm going to start off with the artifacts. We had quite a few interesting ones. This thing here, I still didn't manage to find out what it was. But it is really interesting. It has pattern on it there. It's really interesting. It might have been connected to a belt or something like that. But I don't really know, if I'm being brutally honest. And then we had a couple other nice little bits that weren't too special. This one here, I'm not too sure what it is. I think it's some sort of old kind of clip off a, um, a coat or something like that. Obviously connected to the navy because of the anchor. Still a really cool find. And then this whistle here, this is actually a really cool find. So on here, it says J. Hudson & Co, Birmingham, 1943. And it's actually a police whistle. And if you remember at the start of the video, I said we are detecting on a field with an old house at the top. And that used to be an old police house. So that is really cool that we found something linking in with a house. And it's actually a really cool find that this company, J. Hudson & Co, have collabed with another company, I'm pretty sure, and they're still actually available. And you can still buy these whistles right now, which is really cool. And I'm pretty sure they were the first Metropolitan Police whistle. One was made in, I think it was 1916, something like that, which is really cool. It's such an amazing find. Sadly, it's not complete. It's just missing the thing on the end where you uh, would blow into it. But that is a really cool find. Now, moving on to the slightly older artefacts, this old spur here. This is a really cool find. I've never found one of these, actually. And it would have been obviously connected to um, someone's boot. So at the end here, it would have been clipped on. And then this thing here, you'd have had like the little spiky spur connected here. You can see where it would have slotted in, which you would have like kind of put into the horse's hind to obviously make them go faster, to spur them on. Which is really cool. It's such a great find. Sadly, it hasn't got any detail on. And it is not complete. But it's a really cool find. It's probably around the kind of 1700s. Which is really cool. I like stuff like that. And also, this other old artefact. Part of an old medieval pot leg. Which is really nice. Probably kind of 1500s. Maybe even a bit earlier. Because it's quite a crude, ma crudely made one. So definitely very old. It's just a bit broken there. That's a great find. And moving on to this little find. I love finding these. Nice old thimble, which is great. Pretty much fully complete. Missing a little bit there. But got the dots on the, um, the outside and then the squares on the top, which kind of symbolises. It's around the late 1700s, I'm pretty sure. Which is nice. Love finding these. And then moving on to the slightly better finds. This beautiful Georgian fob seal. You can see there, there's a lion. Absolutely beautiful. And it's probably, yeah, around mid-1700s, Georgian period. And it's absolutely stunning. I couldn't believe it when we pulled out. And I've never seen one this design with the really, um, really thin, long, instead of like a more small and round one. That is such a cool find. I have tried to make an impression, but it doesn't really work. I need to get some get some Play-Doh. That's what I did with my last one, but I think I've, I've lost it somehow. But that is an amazing find. Then, of course, we've got a variety of old coins there. These are all some of the George II's. You can just make out. This is the best one here. George II half penny. You can make out his head nicely there. And you can kind of make out Britannia. But then, of course, moving on to the silvers starting off with this absolutely stunning charles ii threepence minted in 1679 it is absolutely stunning we've had three chart and sorry two charles ii silvers off here now one threepence and also a fourpence which is amazing such great condition i love finding early milled silver And of course, moving on to the hammered. This is a stunning Queen Elizabeth I half groat minted in 1602. 
it is absolutely lovely and i was quite close as i said um the other one it has the two pellets behind her head as you can see and it is um correct it is one of those however they weren't made in just a couple collection of years in her sixth issue which was 1582 to 1600 which is when i thought they were from uh, which indeed they are but then they were also minted in 1601 to 1602 in her seventh issue so yeah it is a half grow and in the spink book if you want to know the new one it is number 2586 it's a lovely coin it's also bent into a love token which is great so as i said in the video one lover would give it to the other and if their relationship broke up they would throw it in the fields as that's what the how the story goes but such a lovely coin it's in decent condition as well you can still make out her head which is good as her, they always used to rub her head off for various you know religious reasons and the fact she was a female monarch but that is beautiful and there we have it thank you so much for watching everyone that was an amazing day and next sunday it's gonna be amazing we are going to i say a brand new permission it isn't our permission we're going to a very good friend of ours who has a field that she's never done on one of her permissions and last time i checked with my dad he said that it was very close I say very close a few miles from an anglo-saxon settlement I'm so excited. Undetected field next week. It's going to be amazing. I'll see you all on the next.